In this video, we will discuss what are the important reactive oxygen species that are involved in the killing of the microorganisms. How our immune system activates and produces these important reactive species. In this video, we will discuss the process of the formation of these species and we will discuss the proteins and the enzymes that are involved in the formation of these reactive oxygen species. Before we start the lecture, I have a quick request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, please hit the like button. Today, the topic of our discussion is antimicrobial species generated from oxygen. So let me write down the title antimicrobial species which are generated from the oxygen molecule. They are also known as reactive oxygen species. So I want to list out all the reactive oxygen species first. And let me write down first the reactive oxygen species here. And then I will explain all the species. The first one is superoxide anion, which is O2 negative. And the second species, which is OH, and I'm showing it as a dot because it's a radical, so I will call it as hydroxyl radical. Then the third species, which is H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. We all know that it's an important disinfectant. The third one is HClO, which is hypochlorous acid. These are four important reactive oxygen species, in short ROS, and the process of synthesis of these species starts with the oxygen molecule. So here I am writing O2, which is oxygen, and then first step is the production of superoxide anion. So the construction of or the formation of superoxide anion is performed by NADPH phagosome oxidase. It's an enzyme, it's a protein, so let me make a globular structure for this and represent it as a protein. Now the oxygen converts to superoxide anion in the presence of this enzyme. After that, this superoxide anion gets converted to H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide. You need to remember that. It's an important step where there is a production of H2O2. And the production of H2O2 is regulated by superoxide dismutase. It's an important enzyme. It's an important biochemical enzyme. It's protein, so I'm going to represent it as a globular form. Now, after the construction of H2O2, there is a construction of HClO negative. But before that, the radical form of the oxygen species like OH negative hydroxyl radical are being generated from H2O2. They are also very important oxygen reactive oxygen species. After that from H2O2 there is a generation of HCO, HClO negative in the presence of myeloperoxidase enzyme. It's a protein. Now to produce this particular molecule you need chlorine Cl negative anion and in presence of that, you have the construction or the formation of hypochlorous acid. So these are the important, very important, I would say, reactive oxygen species. And this is the formation of step-by-step -step process of the formation of these oxygen species from the oxygen molecule. I hope the video was helpful for you to understand what are the important reactive oxygen species and what is the process of the formation of these species. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, hit the like button.